All right, hello everyone, and in today's video, we are going to be learning about the dodge stat. So of course, first we need to know what exactly the dodge stat is. So right here, this is your dodge stat. It is displayed by this thing called flee. So basically, the higher it is, the more likely you are to dodge an attack. But however, one thing we also have to keep in mind is that our enemy's hit rate is also dependent on how often we will dodge their attacks. So if whatever it is that we're fighting has a similar hit rate to rate, whatever you want to call it, then we may or we may not end up dodging their attack. Whereas if their hit rate is much higher than our dodge rate, then we aren't going to dodge very often. And of course, if their hit rate is very low compared to our dodge rate, then we will be able to dodge a lot of their attacks. Now, of course, one thing to keep in mind is that you can't actually dodge a magic attack. So if you are fighting something that uses primarily magic damage, then you are going to be very weak then compared to when you're fighting a physical monster. But of course, this doesn't necessarily mean that dodge is a bad stat to have. Now, of course, dodge is very similar to stats like accuracy, defense, magic defense, casting speed, and stability. As in, it is a very nice stat to have around. But, however, it isn't really something you would want to focus completely on. Now, the dodge stat is more of a bonus for agility characters, meaning that for the most part it can really only be used by dual sword users and knuckle users. But, however, magic users, as well as maybe even bow gunners, might be able to use the agility stat well, considering that, you know, for magic users, you do get most of your DPS from intelligence, whereas dexterity doesn't give you as much, so you could focus on agility. And then, of course, for things like bow gunners, um, you know, since strength doesn't give you as much as it would with a bow, then you could focus on agility, especially if you're going to make a gun foo build, considering that some of the brawler skills are going to be buffed in the future, which it should actually be in a few days, so some of them will do more damage based on your agility stat. So you could consider that. And it's also the same thing for a halberd, as in it is also a very good substat, but of course you would want to go full strength first if you're using a halberd. So yes, just in general, it is a nice bonus, but it's not something you want to focus too much on. Now of course, not only can you get dodge by increasing your agility, but you can also get more dodge by using skills and equipment. So let's go on ahead and go to our skills. Okay, so as you can see here, so we have this skill called dodge up right over here. Now a dodge up increases your dodge rate by 1 per level, which totals up to 10. Now of course, that is incredibly terrible considering that you have to spend a total of 15 skill points to do that, so I really wouldn't recommend getting this skill even if you have nothing else to put your points on. And of course, we do have a much better alternative to that skill, which of course it is called Godspeed. So of course, Godspeed at level 10, it will raise your agility by about maybe 14 to 15. I've heard most people say 14, but every time I've tested it, it seems to be 15. But either way, it's not really anything worth arguing about because it is roughly the same number. So the general idea though is that it does give you a lot more dodge and it even increases your unsheath attack and gives you more things like attack and attack speed if you're using like, you know, knuckles, a halberd, or dual swords. So yeah, it is a very nice skill to have around. But of course, not only can we increase our dodge rate with skills, we can also decrease our target's hit rate. So for dual swords, Spinning Slash is the best one for that. So it has a chance to cause blind, which will of course decrease their accuracy, meaning that if you have a high dodge rate, or even if you have a low dodge rate, you will be able to dodge a bit more often. So yes, this is a very good skill to get if you are using dual swords. I would definitely recommend getting it. And of course, Underneath the shot skills, we have Smoke Dust. Uh, smoke Dust is probably the best one out of all of them, because if you use an arrow as a sub-weapon with any weapon that can equip an arrow as a sub-weapon, of course it makes a great saver skill because it costs 500 MP. It also gives you a buff that increases your accuracy, so this is really nice for builds that need to prevent grazing. And of course, uh, it has an 80% chance. Oh wait, I just covered up my mouth with my hand. I had to scratch my face. Sorry about that. Oh, but it has, by default, an 80% chance to blind your target, which, like I said earlier, decreases your target's hit rate. But however, if you equip a bow, 
it will increase the blind rate by 20%, which makes it 100%. So you could consider using this with a, with a bow, but however, I would definitely say that a dexterity strength build is a lot better. And of course with a bow gun, you could also use it if you're using agility as a substat, but however, the blind rate will be lowered by 20%, but however, that is still decent. So yeah, you definitely consider this one. And then of course there is one more. Okay, well there's actually two more, but they're very similar. Uh, but Magic Javelin, uh, you could use this one to increase, or not increase your dodge rate, but decrease your target's hit rate. But however, you do have to have a dark elemental weapon to do that, and because of that, I really wouldn't recommend this. You could use it if you want to, but like I said, like uh, literally a few seconds ago, I wouldn't recommend using this. So yeah, just in general, skills are good for increasing your dodge rate. But of course, not only can we use our stats and our skills, we can also use our equipment. So let's go to our equipment menu. Alright, so for our weapon, of course, like I said, knuckles and dual swords are the best for this. You could also use a bow gun or a halberd, like I said earlier, or even a magic weapon. Now, of course, as far as the stats that you put on your weapon, I really wouldn't recommend putting dodge stats on it because dodge costs a lot of potential, which is why people put negative dodge stats on their equipment to increase its potential. But however, you could replace your attack stat with agility if you wanted to, because depending on by what class you're using, that might give you a little bit more attack, or roughly around the same amount of attack as your attack percentage stat would. So yes, you could definitely consider replacing attack percentage with agility or agility percentage. And of course for your sub weapon, uh, I haven't really noticed any shields or daggers that increase your dodge rate. So I would definitely say that the arrow is probably the best one, or another one-handed sword if you're using a one-handed sword. Though the arrow is definitely one of the best ones. And then of course, for your armor, you definitely want to refine it to light because that gives you a lot of dodge and a lot of attack speed. And then of course, for the stats, it's the same thing with the weapon. Don't put dodge stats on it, but you can put agility and agility percentage stats on it. And for your additional, Cattail, uh, from what I've seen, is the best. You get th plus 3% agility and plus 15% dodge. That is a lot. And you even get a few bonus stats. So yeah, this is definitely the best one to use. Though personally, I like to use my Gothic Cat more because I like to think of dodge as more of a substat. But you could definitely consider the equipping this if you wanted to. And then for your special gear, the Potem Talisman gives you a whole plus 12% dodge which is very nice, but however it does also give you minus 6% light resistance, which is mostly negligible, considering that most of the time you're not going to be fight fighting light elemental bosses, and 6% doesn't a whole lot. Now I do have a little bit of a, an issue with the 300 MP, so usually I like to use a speed talisman because you also get, you know, extra attack and stuff like that. Then of course if you have at least 2100 attack speed, you can sacrifice a thousand of it, to equip a Donyeti Krista to get more attack. But of course that is most, mostly optional, a lot of people like to keep their extra motion speed, so you can do that with whatever you want. So let's go on ahead and see how a dodge character does on a boss. So if I go up to him and I try to attack him, and he tries to attack me, as you can see, I can dodge his attacks because I have a very high dodge rate, and the Forest Wolf has a relatively low hit rate and doesn't really use magic attacks. Of course, as you can see, that one right there did hit me, so of course, dodge can't really prevent all attacks. Now, of course, one thing to keep in mind is that, though this may seem a bit overpowered, if I was fighting something that used predominantly magic attacks or had a very high hit rate, then I would have a very hard time surviving. So that's why dodge is mostly a stat that you don't want to focus too much, more of a substat that makes a nice bonus. Now, of course, if he was a boss that had an, an incredibly high hit rate, one thing that I could do to counter that would of course be to blind them, so they would hit me a little bit less. Whereas really, the only way to counter a magic boss would be to mostly just avoid their AoEs. Mostly consider that a boss's normal attacks usually tend to be physical, whereas magic attacks usually tend to be from your boss's AoEs. So for the most part, dodge is for you know, avoid, <laughs> avoiding like auto attacks, which even though they don't do a whole lot of damage, 
they are a lot quicker and the damage that they do can quickly add up. Anyways, that is it for this video. I will see you later.